What's up everybody, Brian Tong here, and I just went out to Pasadena to the Rivian space because they are taking out the new R2 and the R3X out for a tour around the country. So they brought these cars here, it brought me out here, and look, I was fortunate enough to be one of the few people that got to attend their actual unveiling of this at their Laguna Rivian space, um, which was amazing, right? There was like, well, here's the R2. Oh, here, and then one more thing. Here's the R3 and the R3X, and everyone freaked out. So those were on display. You could not go inside and get a hands-on feel of it, um, right? These are still prototypes they're showcasing, but obviously showed us a lot of what you can check out on my first look. But here's the thing that blew me away that I did not expect to see here. That's why I go out to these things. They had the first showing for me of the new Rivian Travel Kitchen. You can see it here, it's resting on that rear uh, trunk door of a new R1S. So we're gonna come up to it and you can see here, this design is basically a fold-out design. Now, Rivian wouldn't, they, I asked them, okay, could we fold it up to see how compact it is, what it feels like? They said, no, and I'm like, okay, that's all right. So it's completely like a sandwich, it opens up and then there are the kind of the tow hook loops on the back of that trunk. The thing about it that it stabilizes on, the thing about that is this is on an R1S. I have an R1T and the rear door is a little different. And so I'm not exactly sure if it's just expected to lay flat or not. I did ask them everything I could. You'll also see here that uh, you connect this via power to the 120 volt three pin standard power plug. It then connects into the back of the unit. But there are some really cool things about this. You, it is an induction stovetop. You have two ranges to cook on. You have the space on the right side, whether you're putting ingredients or food or whatever you need. But if you look down, there's a drawer where you can pull it out and it reveals a cutting board. And then they didn't have it inside here, but all the utensils that you'll want, um, you know, whether it's cooking knives, forks, spoons, whatever other things you need, that's gonna be stored in this area. And if you also look on the stove range side, uh, there's like a handle and if you pull it out, you could you know, hang things like towels on it. So it is versatile. Now this does not have the sink. I bought my R1T because I was so excited about this opportunity or chance for them to do that entire Rivian kitchen inside the gear tunnel. The drawer that that is there doesn't look like it's gonna be able to hold that many dishes. It's really more for utensils versus when they showcased like every, they went 100 with that Rivian gear tunnel kitchen, but this is different. This is their new travel kitchen. The gear tunnel kitchen basically from all indications does not exist anymore, but this still is a solution. And this is still something that I wanna get to add on to my Rivian setup so that it makes camping and makes going out and preparing food a lot more easier, a lot more fun. But you know, over time now, I've really used the gear tunnel for storage and I think it has more functionality. And by bringing this new iteration of this Rivian travel kitchen that's able to rest on the back of an R1S, an R1T I'm assuming, also compatible with R2 series cars coming in the future and R3 series coming in the future, that obviously makes it more versatile and more appealing. And then also the great thing about it, right? You have a little fun and a little charm. It is connected to power you'll see these two poles that extend to the left and right, and then a string of these oblong LED lights. And those lights, I found a little clicker or the remote on it, and you can click it four times for four different levels of brightness. So that's pretty fun as well. Now, I was not able to feel the weight of it, so I can't tell you that, but again, it kind of folds up in half. The other thing they show me is that it will come with its own carrying case of bags. So right, quality, durable, unzip it, put in the Rivian travel kitchen inside of it has a shoulder strap. So I'm assuming it's light enough that you can carry it around and be portable. They wouldn't let me do that. But here's the biggest thing, all right? We've been wondering when is this gonna be available? This is the first time that I've seen it and I know they've been taking it around on tour. I was told by reps that this new Rivian travel kitchen will be available in a week and it will be priced at $1,400. So I'm guessing on the website it'll show up 1,399, but Let's just throw it out there, $1,400, the new Rivian Travel Kitchen available online to order in a week. I tried to ask as much information as I could about this, but um, that's all I got. It's great to see it, to feel it. It feels like the quality that you expect, and it was great to see in person. So there you go. There is a first look at the new Rivian Travel Kitchen. I'm touching it. It's right here, and guess what? It's gonna be coming to you really soon. It'll be available to order next week, $1,400. And the beauty of it, again, compatible with the R1 series, the incoming R2 series, R3 in the future, right? Connects to the back. You got the lights. 
you got the bag. This is gonna be sweet and uh, I can't wait to get my hands on it. So enjoy, hope you enjoyed that first look at the new Rivian Travel Kitchen.